Hi, welcome guys to the tutorial live tutelage. Now, in this session, we will be discussing of something like uh, graphics or how to draw some basic shapes using our Java program. Okay, so the basic shapes, today we are going to discuss something like basic shapes, how to draw a kind of rectangle, a oval, right? So, how to draw a oval, rectangle kind of uh, uh, shapes in our Java program, right? So, before that, uh, let me explain something about swings. We have already discussed in the previous sessions. So, Java consists a package called swings, okay, which is mainly used for graphical user interface. That means if I want to create something like buttons, if I want to create some panel, if I want to create some frames, right? If I want to create some labels, okay. So, checkbox or something like a text box, okay. So, I want to create something like that. So, Java has some built-in package, which is a swings. This swings consists of all methods and classes relating to our paint. Of course, the paint. Paint is used for drawing some shapes, okay. All the method you can find it in two packages of Java. One is the Sphinx and the other is AWT. So applet uh, kit, you can say that. So these two uh, packages, AWT, which we call as the event kit, and this is a Sphinx. These two packages will be having uh, our Java GUI, which is graphical user interface related classes and methods. So hence I'm going to draw some basic shapes of Java and the method method regarding or the classes to draw some shapes are in package called Sphinx as well as in AWT. So whatever the code that we are writing in Java, so you need to import that particular package. Okay, I have already told you in our previous sessions what is a package, right, and the built-in packages. Okay. So, if I want to go for a normal kind of a program, you, you can import java.io. If you are going with some mathematical operations, you have to import something called java.util. So, you have a lot of packages like strings, awt, util, lot of pack packages are there that we have already discussed in the class of packages, right? Now, for the paint, we have to import strings and awt. Now, first, let me write the code. So, public. My class, just I have created a class called G, graphics, G for graphics, and which extends the J frame. What is this J frame? Right, I'm first, when I want to write some painting, right, I need some frame where I can write or where I can draw some shapes, right? First of all, I need some frame. I cannot write it or I cannot draw it on my console. I have to... Uh, create a frame something like a window or a notepad on that I can draw whatever the shapes we require. So for that I have extended my class from JFrame. So JFrame is a class which is available in our swings. Right. Now here I am going to create a method called public graphic. Okay. Now in this method I'm going to call two functions which is set size of some 500 comma 500 which is a width and height of my frame and set visible of true. These two are the methods which is used for my uh, paint class. Okay. Now here see it says the syntax error. Why? Because a token is expected. Okay. We can give it at the end. Right. Okay, now here, so this class, this is a method in my class, right? Now here, this class consists two methods. One is size, which is a size of a frame, and visible true, which means whatever that I'm going to draw, that should be visible. Once we execute the code, you will understand this easily. Now, I'm going to write a method called public static void main string arts. Okay. Now this is my uh, public static uh, string arts. Okay. Uh, 
public static string graphs okay and here i'm going to call the method i'm going to create an object for calling of the method graphic okay so i can say what is my class name g which is equal to g for an object i have created an object which is new g and now i'm calling the method graphic right now in my main method i just have called this size of the frame is set and set visible true set visible true will call a method something called public paint this method we use in especially in graphics for creation or for drawing some kind of shapes okay now before here just import java dot S W I N G string dot asterisk. Now we can even import Java dot A W T dot star. That means all classes, all classes related to your string, okay, or all classes related to your A W T will be imported here. Right now I'm right. I'm going to write a method in Paint. Okay, so this public void paint graphics is is a paint method which will be called background of the program which is run by a thread so we have already covered the thread topics in our previous sessions okay this paint will run this paint is a method whenever you can find the set visible true right when you find the set visible true automatically uh, it calls the swings classes and at the background it runs the paint method now here you need to create an object for the paint so here i just have created an object for the paint obj okay now with the obj i can write i can draw the basic shape see here i have just given comment for this so if you want to draw oval if you want to draw rectangle whatever you want you can just try but here when you are just drawing something so just say object dot and just press object dot so you can find all the methods see draw line okay so draw line and draw rectangle or you know create something or draw a woven or draw bobel draw square okay you can draw whatever you want say something like draw and let me say rectangle or e c t just draw rect okay now just enter Okay, it accepts, see immediately when I say enter, it accepts four parameters. One is the width, the other is the height of your rectangle to be drawn. The first two variables, x and y will be the left, left alignment of our frame from where we have to draw and y will be top alignment of our rectangle. So, if I say something like, you know, 30 x and 30 y and 100 width and 100 of the height width and height now we just run the program and just say okay now see here you can find it out here this is my rectangle which i have you can find out here this is my rectangle which you have drawn right so this is something like you know from the left side the position is here from the top it is here now let me change the parameters so it is a fill rectangle it has been filled with a black color now let me draw rectangles like draw right okay let me give some parameters something different like this 100 100 and you know, let us give like 60 and some 60 now just draw this so run the program uh, just say run and you can find out the rectangle shape like this okay so if you want to see whatever you are drawing will be in terms of a line so you have to adjust it it looks like a square right so if you want to put it as a rectangle you need to change the parameters okay you just change the parameters and you just run it so you can find something like a rectangle shape here right this is a rectangle shape so if you want to make it as a square what you have to do you have to give height and width as the same so if i give height and width as the same then it becomes a square shape 
right now if you run this yeah you can find out this this is a square and you will run it again so just run the java application you can find here the square right this is a kind of a square we got it so you can understand this is our y which is the space of from where the object to be drawn from the top and this is your x parameter the space from where uh, uh, from which distance you are going to draw your square or rectangle now we have we can even draw something like object dot oval so oval o v p o v a l oval and now here you need to pass the parameters like this so same as a distance of the top and edge and what is these two parameters that you are passing for oval that means the oval oval the oval you are not passing any kind of radius here right diameter or radius here you are passing the parameters of width and height only so that means whatever the rectangle you are getting so it draws an oval exactly fit to that particular shape okay exactly fit to that particular shape that is uh, we can say that is a kind of a oval okay now that is a kind of a oval okay now just run the program now see here you can find out because that i have given what is this it should the oval should fix it should be exactly the size of the rectangle 60 and 60 whatever i have drawn right and exactly the distance and from the top and the left is also the same so if i keep changing this suppose i keep changing this and i just run my program now you can observe see from the left hand side it is only the 10 uh, inches of distance only the 10 centimeter 10 inches of distance it is like only very nearer to your left edge right and from the top it is of 100 and the width and size of oval is the width and size of a square or rectangle where you can fit your oval okay so that is about drawing of the objects so you can do some experiments by just clicking obj your object code dot you can find draw line right you can find draw line and right? fill right if you, even you can fill your rectangle with some parameters so you can if you want to fill with uh, your rectangle with something like the colors 20 30 and they tell you if when i run first time the program i filled the rectangle with some black color right so when you just run your program so it will be filled you have a filled rectangle right so let us give more space from the top so that it will be visible very clearly okay so this is about a uh, fill right so if you give the more space of left and right edges you can view your rectangle neatly so see this is a filled rectangle this is a filled with some color okay next sessions we will discuss something more about the color management how to fill with the different different colors of my face okay so this is about our uh, paint class or paint methods or how to draw some basic shapes on our java programming thank you